So let's talk about this first person, the first characteristic I want to describe. This woman as what I call a happy spender. This is an antiquated image of a woman in her kitchen from the 50s, but in fact it represents that negative stereotype, that assumption that too many people have about what she really is. Her life is declining, her access to discretionary income is declining. She's scrounging, wearing her apron and penny pinching, scrounging for cash to make one of her few and rare purchases. Well, we may know that's not true in this image from the 50s is outdated, but that's not how women are being made to feel in the marketplace. In fact, this is how women are feeling in the marketplace. They are feeling both happy and they like spending their money. That old stereotype, that woman wasn't spending and she wasn't happy. In fact, if you're familiar with this big field of what's called happiness research, you're probably also familiar with what's now called the U-curve of happiness. Have you all heard about that? Um, it shows that actually our happiness declines pretty consistently in the first few decades of our adult years. In the 20s and our 30s, especially true for maybe millennials, it'll be for their 30s and 40s as we build a career and start a marriage or a relationship or partnership and raise children. Those challenges are really stressful and they don't actually contribute to overall sense of well-being. Well, it turns out that well-being starts a curve upward as we move out of that stage of life. We become more financially secure. Our children start to move out on their own. And our marriages or remarriages or whatever reach their own kind of stability. And that curve continues throughout life. It turns out people are describing each decade as they age as the happiest decade of their lives. And there appears to be no end in sight. But in fact, as for being an empty nester, um, as much energy as we contribute into being great parents and talking about how much we love parenthood, it turns out that the one uniform symptom of becoming an empty nester is also called happiness. 